my first art teacher. Yeah. Actually. And I have to say, when I, when I first met my dad, it's very rare, that, that I, and I have a lot of students that are very talented, but sometimes you can really tell when somebody's really got it. Like, you know. One of us happened to have an uncle. This guy had an uncle that had a print shop. So he, we sort of pulled, I mean, I'm sure he just did it for free. We gave him whatever money we had. It was like, I think it was like when you're, when you have a small child, you tell them like, oh yeah, that costs a quarter when you clearly it costs 20 bucks and they give you a quarter and they feel like they bought it. Mm -hmm. um, I think he cut us a break. So we gave him whatever money we had and he printed the book up and I was selling them out of my book bag in here, like in this, this actual room in the hallways. Uh, First time I picked up a comic, I might have been maybe 13, and I realized like this is somebody's job, and that's I knew it right then and there I wanted it. Um, the trick for me was like it felt so abstract, like it's something that I couldn't touch. I, I didn't know anybody in the business, and I was you know we were dirt poor, so it wasn't like I could go places and meet people. Um, so I just decided that like. If I don't have any, if I don't have any resources and I don't have any connections, the only thing I can focus on is the things I can control, and that's work and talent. So you only have X amount of talent, but you can develop it as far as you can, and you don't need money for that, and you don't need uh, connections for that. So I just like focused on getting as good as I possibly could get, so that you couldn't ignore me if I showed you my work. Shortly after college, my mother passed away, and she was sort of the only family member I had in my life, and we had always been, like, dismally poor, so she had never seen me do anything with the fact that I pursued higher education, so I was kind of desperate to make something of myself, and I got into self-publishing probably when I wasn't in the right frame of mind. Did your mom approve of your artwork or did she want you to do something else? Not at first. Uh, she was like, she had, she was very old school. She had immigrated here from Puerto Rico in the 50s. And she had this attitude. I mean, she literally said like, artists don't make money until after they die. And she was very poor, so this was, it bothered her. Um, but she was pretty unique in that she voiced all her opinions in the beginning and then never mentioned it again. And kept buying the art supplies even though she couldn't really, you know, spare the money uh, and supported it all the way through college. I remember telling her in college I was considering teaching and she was like, thank God. Like, thank God, <laughs> because she was afraid I'd be starving, you know? So, uh, I was complaining about the school. And he's like, you know, it only takes one. And I realized like, holy, um, I've been complaining to this guy who's a huge help. And I had Miss Inman, I had Mr. Dotson, I had my mother. And between the four of them, I mean, they got me to art school, they got me to the other school, um, gave me a nice foundation in drawing, and, and they, they set me up. So I was really, really lucky early on. I did, I used to come back, so when I was self-publishing, the first person I thought of were, actually the first two people were Miss Inman and Mr. Dodson. I came back and said, like, what do I need to know to put a book out? And they put me in front of, I think you guys had a computer lab at that yeah, point. Yeah, sure, yeah, I mean, we're over there for I think it was in a different part of the building, because I remember having to walk with, with somebody to it, and they kind of gave me a real rough idea of how to use it. So the cover to my very first book that I published, like not the one here, but the one that got published in, you know, regular market, the cover was done here at York High. So I, I would come back occasionally to visit. Um, I haven't in a while. But yeah, I, I kind of always figured, you know, it'd be a part of my life. So who is your favorite character to draw? Um, probably my own. If not that, then probably Deadpool at this point. Like. Um, 
he's grown on me. When I first was asked to draw the book, I actually turned it down um, because the the what they were offering me was not what I wasn't in line with what I was already making, um, and so I just wasn't attached to the character in any way. Uh, but after you know eventually taking it on and drawing the character for a while. Uh, it's really, really grown on me. He's he's a lot of fun, and his cast of characters is a lot of fun. Um, and I've turned down stuff that I, I never thought I would, like I turned down Superman to keep it on Deadpool. Um, so, it, yeah, that's Deadpool. So how often do you draw by hand versus, like on pencil and paper, versus how often do you draw with a uh, certain computer software? So usually it's by hand. Um, I will do color digitally. Um, I have all the software and I, and I will occasionally do something completely digitally. I still prefer, my process is kind of a mess and I have stuff I'll show you guys. So I still prefer to do that by hand. And, and so yeah, most of the, like 98% of the time it's, it's pencil pen. Most of that was self-taught. Self -taught. Yeah, I think like if you can find a class to do it, yes, absolutely. Let me actually see. But if you can find a class that'll teach you, then that's great. Otherwise, you can pretty much do it up Like like no, no, no. Okay. 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 Particular program, or is it just like Apple? Or I, I would stick with. I, right now, I think. Photoshop is still king, so okay. if, if I had to suggest one, I would say Photoshop. Photoshop? Okay. I don't know who this is, I'm just going to do them and hand them off. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Photoshop is king. Okay. I, yeah, I, I mean, there's a lot of other softwares you can learn, like Manga Studio and all this stuff, but... <laughs> Yeah. Uh -huh.